Hey guys, happy Monday to you or whatever day you see this video. Um, it is rain, been raining. It's chilly. I don't know how cold it is, but uh, I'm in a little uh, respite according to my wife right now. And they're supposed to start up and rain again here in a little bit. But uh, the cover worked pretty good. The car is pretty dry on the side, so I'll get it draped back over there. <clears throat> I went ahead and did this. Uh, spot that I had where I broke the weld ground the weld off I didn't really break it um, so I kind of <laughs> went in there and then kind of tapped that whole piece back some with a hammer um, the only hammer I could find I don't know where my other ones are is uh, this old one that was my uncle's so old body hammer I used the pick end and the hammer end kind of picked that back a little bit and then I used the hammer and like I said, well, it would be nice to be able to dolly on the back of that, but there's no way to get to that. Again, the inner wheel well is, is all up over that. So I went ahead and used a little bit of, as you can see, some of that panel bonding adhesive as filler. Filled those low spots around those welds. This is the spot I repaired, and I put a little bit of plastic wrap on this vice grip because I didn't want to panel bond it to the side of the car uh, but uh, it's not super tight but it I worked that stuff down in there and then I clipped clamped it on there and squeezed some out and that's also some that I spread plus I squeezed a little bit more on there <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know what year it'll be dry the according to the instructions that I actually looked at when it's 50 degrees it's supposed to be 24 hours to a full bond and that's for something that's under stress um this i don't know if you count this as under stress not really i don't think it's not going to be doing anything but uh, hopefully here day or two i can go ahead and do the fin i'll have to sand this a little and then put the final coat of bondo on there the final ish coat of bondo uh, i also used obviously you can see I used a little bit of it back there I just had a couple of little spots and I thought and I had I just wiped my uh, spreader off on the on those spots same as I did here of course that's that cupped back spot which isn't really cupped back very much but uh, I wanted to kind of get a little fill in of this two-part epoxy stuff it's panel bonding adhesive so hopefully I'll be able to take any kind of vibration I'll probably leave this on there until tomorrow at the soonest and take that off. Um, the It seems to have that held down where it needs to be. So, and this I just did for the heck of it. Like I say, you see where I, you saw in probably an earlier video, I had a low spot here, which you can still see. Now it has some of the panel bonding here to fill. Hopefully, like I say, the next coat, which will be the uh, polyester filler will smooth all this out. You won't even see it. I'm hope. That's my hope. You look down the body and you don't see waviness and everything else. Again, you guys know that my dad owned a body shop for all the time from when I was in, I don't know, first grade to, uh, I think I was a senior, junior or senior in high school when he sold it, so... It uh, seems like maybe was a, I was a junior or right before my junior year of high school. Uh, he got really sick. He was a really, really good painter. So everybody wanted him to paint their cars, and he didn't ever have the proper equipment. Um, he always wore, you know, just those paper masks mostly. I think he, I don't think he had a respirator. And uh, really was hard on mostly his kidneys, his lungs and his kidneys, and like to near killed him. So he ended up selling the shop. I say we bought this car this the car of that summer I think that he sold the shop well I don't know if he'd sold it yet because he was still wheeling and dealing with a guy that we got the car from um, and he because he traded a bumper he had a Chevy truck bumper he'd taken off of something the guy wanted and he traded the bumper and some cash for this car then I paid him back for it but uh Anyway, that, so, the, he was a very good body man, self-taught, 
uh, guy taught him, he bought the shop, the guy he bought the shop off of, I guess taught him everything he needed to know. And he was one of the best around. So he got a lot of work. So, and it wasn't good on his health, like I say. But, um, so I guess when I'm kind of particular on, you know, things like wavy panels and all that, I probably got that from him in the years at the body shop. So, uh, this will hopefully be nice and probably straighter than I would have had it back when I was 18. So, uh, technology's changed. You know, a lot of this stuff about doing the long boards. And I actually have, I think, his air file here somewhere. I could have used them, but I'd have to dig it out and have some really long sandpaper. Um, but it's around here somewhere. It's one of the things I got when I cleaned his shed out. But uh, after he passed away. Anyway, I'm going to let this set for a while so it's not still sticky. And then I pull my tarp back. I felt a little bit of rain. You, I don't know if you guys can see. There's water droplets already on the car. I'm just blowing in here. It's kind of a light rain. It stormed last night, actually, a thunder and stuff. But I don't think... I thought my wife said we got an inch of rain since midnight. So it's kind of muddy out here. Like I said, it's not super cold. It's chilly. It's not super cold. It's too cold for this stuff. I think the lowest temperature they have on the thing is 50 degrees. Here it is, you guys wondering. It's a two-part deal. It has this... I wasn't even going to use the mixer nozzle, but I bought like a whole package of mixer nozzles. It came with two. I've got two two packages of this. I say two tubes, but each tube's two tubes. But it's actually just one of this panel bonding adhesive. So I thought, and it, it came with uh, two nozzles. And I think the other one has two nozzles. So I'll pull this one off of there. I hate wasting, you know me, I'm cheap. And I hate wasting the what's in the tube there. Because this wasn't cheap. Actually, to be honest with you, the panel bonding adhesive itself was not that expensive. It's like 30 bucks a tube, which I know is expensive, but not terribly expensive. But see, that's a 0811, I think. 0815, excuse me. And um, like I say, I believe it's 30 bucks. This stupid gun, which you don't have to have, but it was terribly expensive. But you only have to buy it once, so you see that's a 0857 one. And um, I thought I'd go ahead and buy it. So once you got it bought, don't tear it up because look, it still has a tag hanging on it. I, mean, I might end up selling it someday. No, I probably won't. But uh, and that tube sits in there just one direction. It's got a small tube and a big tube, and then that's a mixing nozzle. I don't know how effective they are, but it's you know it squeezes and mixes it until it comes out the end. Um, I'll take that back off, put the cap back on there. Hopefully the shelf life won't be affected too bad being opened. But, um, so, and it'll last a couple months. It'll, I'd like to hang on to it until after it warms up. And I've got some things I want to bond on the car, like the front fender extensions, right or wrong. Um, and I'm going to use that. I put these on, they're not on there the best, but I use just JB Weld and Baby Weld, the rear fender extensions on there, and filled them, which they're not not—they're not finished, but hopefully I can finish them up when I start working more on the back of the body of the car and using the, doing real body work. And this is actually supposed to be real body work, but uh, the weather's not what it needs to be. And again, this is just, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of wasting time doing this. I need to be working on the windows, but um, it, it, I don't know. It's all it all works in my head, and I wanted to have this done too. You know, like I said, I've been waiting 40 years to have these rear wheel wells fixed, and sometimes you you know you get tired of waiting. So anyway, I will. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know when you guys will see this. Again, it's Monday. I may not see it till Thursday or Friday. But, uh, and uh, hopefully by the time this video actually makes it up, I will have, I'll put the polyester filler on here. And I may yell, and the car might be painted for this, because uh, uh, I think I said the phone company's supposed to be here today and look at my, our DSL line. It's terrible. It just got that way since about Friday. It had been slowing down at times, but Friday something happened. And we've got two. My wife works here at home, so she has one dedicated herself, and 
thank the good Lord that one went down Friday. Both of them went down Friday. But that one I rebooted the modem and stuff, and it came back up and it's running all right. Because she does a lot of online with her being at home. She has like, you know, video chats she does with people and things. So, but we need to have it. And we need our other one's a backup. If something goes happens to that one, then we're, we're really in trouble. Because it's struggle. I have to use it myself and not use hers while she's working. And uh, this morning I couldn't even hardly, uh, I usually have my phone hooked to it too. And the phone kept saying I'm not connected to the internet. So I don't know. Maybe they're working on it. I doubt it. They're supposed to text me. So anyway, see so much for my woes on the internet. But then you kind of hopefully give you guys ideas why it takes me so long to get stuff uploaded. Um, this video here is almost 11 minutes. It'll probably get cut down and edited down, and it's not going to be very long. Uh, I'm probably going to do some shorter ones until that's fixed, and uh, so they're easier to get uploaded. So, anyway, keep working on the um, rear quarter. Quarter I'm getting sprinkled on right now, so I'm going to move and get this covered up. So I'll talk to everybody later.